Hello. No, no, there is a sun, just not the one we're after. What resolution is this exactly? Yeah, I thought so. I feel we might need to scale the, uh... I feel we might need to scale things up a smidge, maybe. That looks okay. Resolution has been bro broken for me. It seems to be the right resolution now, but it, I don't know. We'll see. We're just going to worse. We play in 1080p, and it's a little bit. It looked fine for you guys, just be a smidge blurry for me. This is not a new Sun to see. No, no, no. This is, um. Uh. What's the right word? This is the one from 2013? 2014? The Sun to Skies, which is what we played before, and this is Sun to Seas. Good man, Arthur. I've never played the uh, DLC for this, Zob Mariner, though. That's, that's gonna be new from there. When was the last time I played this? Benjamin? Did nick it from my, uh, my, my PC or something? We'll get people to set to come in here. Let me get a drink. Actually, I might get a cup of tea before we start, baby. Hello, peeps. Yeah, the new Lash theme, have you heard it? It's pretty it's pretty spicy. Hold on. This is one from the new game that's released uh, yesterday. Check us out. They've done an incredible job on all of the uh, new Slight CO themes. It's pretty friggin' funky. Yeah, it's really good. They all of the all of them have like uh, multiple different themes and stuff. It's really interesting. You know. Yeah, gonna make a cup of tea. I know. I know. Only daughters allowed on these boats. Really? Like all of the music so far. I mean, Sturm's theme is incredible as well. The Sturm's theme was always good. One of my favorites is still Nels. Like, I don't know, there's something about Nels theme that's just, that just works. Like, when I think Advance Wars, I think Nels. She was always a pain in the ass to unlock it, the first one. I wanna say I've still got mine. Uh, not sure where my DS games have got to do. That's an interesting thought. Where are my DS games? There should be like a bag with them in. Must have moved them somewhere stupid. Hmm. There must be somewhere. Oh, they're over there. No, that's not them. The f Where on earth did I put those? Eh, they'll be here somewhere. Weird. Mage Seeker? Oh, is it good, is it? Is it pretty burly? Right, I think the tea is finished boiling. Hey, Jason!
It's on the sea. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get slapped around. It's gonna be good times. All right, I won't be too much longer. Just gonna let that teach you. Maybe we can start a new game and decide a new thing as well. Yeah. So just like Sunless Skies, uh, we're gonna be we want we want to obviously upgrade our boat. We want to get new crew members and do their stories and other stuff like that. Unlike Sunless Skies, uh, this is this game is a bit slower. It's also a bit more. Eh, it's not difficult. It's not that one's more difficult than the other. It's just that. Uh, wait, I got I got the a comatose ferret. Nice. Have I tried the original Bradley game? What um, London? Uh, Full London? No, I haven't actually. The music in this game is fantastic, though. So we've got to uh, choose a pass and see what we're going to do, which is interesting. 50 Echoes, that's what we got. So Seas is a little bit different to Skies in terms of the story as well. So I, from what I understand, Skies is kind of like an alternate future that could have happened. Hey, car batteries. Sunless sus. It's very sus down here. Is it a bit too loud? Is it a bit too loud? Is that better? Is that a bit better? Much? Alright, cool. Right, two ticks. Let me finish this cup of tea and I'm right with you. Alrighty, there we are. So, let's choose a past, I guess. If you want to get to the sea immediately, choose this. An opportunity to revisit it now. We'll just choose a past. Here we go. We're deciding who you were and what you want to be. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. Who were you? Now you're a captain. Now you belong to the Untersy. But who were you before? An ordained priest that fell from grace? Mm. A natural philosopher? A veteran of the campaign of 68. A poet? A street urchin. <laughs> the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. One does not simply harass the dawn machine. It's been a long time since I've played this, actually. I think it's been at least four years, five years since I've played Sun of Sea, so it'll be interesting to see how we get on. A veteran of the Hell War could be quite fun. This will give you a bonus to iron, the skill of causing direct damage, which is also pretty useful, to be fair. Same um same skill sort of style system. It's, it's like iron, veils, mirrors, uh, heart, and uh, I forget what the last one is. Pages. So should be a veteran of the, hell, the campaign of sixty eight. You fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and your pension have brought you a command. Let's do that then. Stern and extract and exacting. They will not trifle with you. You promise a job to your acquaintance, the shady cook. He'll do until you find someone less disgusting. You were a weary soldier, now you're a Z-captain. Your stranger quality is gone. Welcome to the world. You gain 20 echoes, 25 iron, one shady cook. Seems good. And someone is looking for passage. So an ambition is what we're going to be trying to do. The ambition one's kind of interesting. Immortality. Eternal life sounds like something you'd enjoy, and it said that the Prisbiter, the rule of the Elder Continent, has lived forever. Your father's bones? My father was lost at Z. You never knew him, but you often dreamed of him. Find him, return his remains. Fulfillment? Gather a hundred tales? Wealth? You know what how it means to be poor, now you want a mansion, servants and fine clothes. A family, perhaps. We can't do a private colony, but yeah. I mean, immortality sounds pretty good, right? Uh, unlock with under the under Z. That's a new one, right? From the submarine one. Should we go for it? Should we try and be immortal? That's the DLC one, I guess, yeah. Immortality. 
Until the life sounded like something you'd enjoy. Yep. Tool Tales. The best were right guards, secrets fiercely. But amid the clamour and beer stains of the blind helmsman, a salt-scarred navigator is telling tales of the continent's deepest interior, of a city called Nidar, and the origin of the Prisbider's long life. Where, he, where is he getting his information? Bring wine. He's susceptible to wine. You'll find the navigator, and your first clue, in London. Begin your quest. A last scrap of paperwork. Captain, an irregularity at the harbour master's office. They wish you to know. What terms do you, uh, what term of address do you prefer? So we've got a choice. We can be madam. My lord, my lady, captain, citizen, sir. Any preferences? Thank you, Blaisonsi, for the uh, resub. No comrade? Lord? No comrade? No, not in London, probably. Not in this sort of time period. I, I, like, I think captain's always a pretty generic -y neutral one, isn't it? Meow Lord. Captain will do perfectly well ashore. Ah, let's see. Thank you. Captain it is. A last piece of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die. The Z is hungry. But each captain pass on lessons to the next. Oh, Captain, my captain. That's a great film. Choose your name. What are we going to look like? That's the question. Oh, I like the tentacle hat. Alchemy. Righty person. Very fine hat. Pipe. Very fine hat. Very fine hat. <laughs> <laughs> Lude. Mysterious. Very mysterious. Extremely mysterious. Mr. Eaton? Aren't, they the, aren't the, the bizarre guys are called Mr. Summer? It's like Mr. Stone, Mr. Rock, Mr. Irons, and stuff, right? We shouldn't be eating people, though. Thank you, whoever that was. That was very kind. Submerged person's pretty fun. I like the tentacle hat, though. The tentacles are kind of fun. What's our name going to be? People should stop being edible. That's true. That shouldn't be made of meat. Don't listen to the water. Moriarty? Anyone got any uh, fine names they want to throw out as well? More the merrier. If not, we can always uh, pick something. The Mad Hatter. Isabel Moriarty. Jeff. The Hat Matter. Greg. That's the Grim Reaper's name. Bob. Bob's Grand Adventure Under the Sea. Alice. Ben. Captain Alice. Didn't we have Captain Alice in the skies? Was it Captain Alice in the sky? Hello, Billy. Isabel Jeanette Moriarty. Yeah, look. Is it Joe Moriarty, is it? Are we going to be Josephine? I mean, they're probably going to get smote. We could be Josephine. Should we do that? There we are. Alright, Fall in London. So we've got a few things. A Submariner tutorial. I'm assuming I don't get that yet. I'm guessing I have to get some money to get that together. Alright. So this is our ship. Theseus. We got a cannon. The lead beater and stain rod. We got ten fuel, five supplies. And advice for captain. Just provides an advice snippet story. Alright, we can leave that on for now. The ship of Theseus. Hey, pumpkin! There's different ships, but... We can get for like a really tiny one. What is it? I wonder if they've added new ships since I've last played. Alright. 
Advice for captains. Exploration. On mercy. And most of this I think I know. On fighting, on stories, on terror. I think I know all that at this point. This bit I don't. London. So let's have a look. A passenger. A passenger on the docks wants to board your ship. Agree to carry the anxious university student to Hunter's Keep. He has no money, so the other captains have no interest. But he's a passionate youth and promises his studies on lawn flukes will be rewarding enough. Sure. Bound for Hunter's Keep. He jumps aboard as you agree to take him aboard. Thank you, thank you. Please, take me to Hunter's Keep right away. A lawn fluke, a full, dead... A lawn fluke, a full, dead lawn fluke washed ashore. I'm doing my thesis on them. Do you know they can digest human memories? And I may never have a better chance to study one up close. Well, we've got to try and find out where that is. Hey, Avaris. Uh, let's see. London. I've dropped a Blemingen gall Gallivanter. A Blemingen sits atop of a splintered crate, clicking and whistling at captains as they go near. So we can always get a Blemingen. Visit the Admiralty Survey Office. They'll pay for information from Z captains. Visit the University, which we can't go in. We need secrets or favours for that. We can't go across the docks at the moment. We can hire some more crew. We got 8 out of 10 crew, which isn't terrible. Find repairs. Offer a passage for a tomb colonist. And that's a good way of getting money. An emigrant will be uh, paid to be taken north to Vendor Blight. So we can do that and go to Vendor Blight. We have a tomb colonist. It's oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take a ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew can cart these aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there till the journey is done. The tomb colonist is in your hold. Take them to north to the colony of Vendor Blight and sell them there. Well, that's one thing to do. I guess we can adopt a Blemigan. You send your hand and the Blemigan leaps on. Its tendrils entwine with your fingers and it chitters quietly. It meets your gaze and bobs its dome in greeting. It's very small. Is it old enough for naval service? You're pretty sure its moustache has been drawn on in pen, in an attempt to look older. As you approach your ship's gangplank, the creature flutes and vibrates with apparent happiness. The bosun, the bosun winces as you bring it aboard. We now have a Blemigan. Yay. Ambition. So we actually need to get some wine. So the Blind Helmsman is a Wolfstack institution. A centuries-old pub held together by a crust of fr fly fry smoke and the nautical mementos nailed to the wall. When you enter, the salt scar navigator is already in full flow. A city deep in interior, Nadar it's called. There they decide the span of every life. Nadar's walls are basalt, but within them it's as close to paradise as man can make. A thousand fountains, the streets paved with gem slabs, and the air sweeps with honeysuckle and orange groves. How does he know? Has he been there? Well, we can't do anything there yet. So I guess firstly, we could probably just have a poo around. Is there anything else in London uh, we can do? Oh, we can visit the Admiralty office and see what they want. The Admiralty's office, at Admiralty office, uh, pickets, fleets, and intelligent networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Visit and investigate ports to gain port reports and trade them in here, just like with some of the skies. We get port reports, we can bring them back, we can get fuel and other, other governments, which is nice. And we'll gain some favours. Ask if they need anything in particular. No current commission. Alright. Well. This port. Speak with our agent there and return. We'll see you rewarded. Retrieve strategic information from Gader's Moor in the Corsair Forest. Somewhere not far from home waters. Okay. And we go out to the foggy streets of fallen London. Alright. Then perhaps we should dismount. So this is our little ship. This is London itself. We've got... How much fuel have we got? I'm kind of tempted to actually maybe get some more fuel. Might actually be more... We've got nine fuel and five supplies. That's probably not an awful lot. So Mrs. Plenty Shipside Provisioners can get us some fuel. For ten Echoes. And twenty fuel. I'm going to get one more supply. Um, one more fuel for now. I haven't got a huge amount of money, but that'll do for now. The dangerously jovial Mr. Fires manufacturer is the most intimidating, least currently tested devices. Alright. Spam H. 
That's the scat. Uh, H. What's H then? What's one H? What's H doing this? I never want to send the Z bat out. Actually, do I even have a Z bat to send out? It's an interesting point. All right, we'll launch that, I guess. Oh, nice, we got the horn. So the light in this eats a shitload more fuel, from what I recall. So we want to go to Vendor Blight initially, probably up north to get our our thing done. So we're gonna chug, chug, chug. So we're gonna chug, chug, chug north again. Un again, this is a much like slower, like driven game than uh, some disguises. Let's have a look. He eats a little bit of our supplies, but he comes back with information. As you can see, we've got... I'm not sure what that is. We've got Fallen London here. This is the map. And Fallen London's over here. Vendor Blight's going to be up here somewhere, probably. Hunter's Keep is somewhere distant to the east. Over that way. Well, we're looking for Hunter's Keep, aren't we, to drop our dude off? So, Terra is our, uh... If we have the light on... Ah, oh, here's Hunter's Keep. Well, oh, it worked out well. Better slow down a little bit. Oh, Doc. I wonder if I should do the Submariner Tilt or a little because it'll always be there otherwise. Welcome, delicious friend. The tour will make... How to acquire a submarine? Her Majesty's Amity has sworn off the submarine exp exploration. However, you've heard tales of unofficial research into submarine travel being conducted in her distant colony. Travel to the southern coast and follow it east to find Port Carnil Carnilian. They all learn how to convert your ship into a submarine. Interesting. And I'll probably get rid of this one actually for now. Sell this book. Don't need that one. Hunter's Keep. A hunk, a hump of dark rock swathed in mist, like a hundred other under the islands. But here is a grand house, windows aglow, lawns impossibly green and lush in the false starlight, raked gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges Ooh. the ship's sides. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest tr trace of lavender. Sun the seas. David Cage. Oh no. Jason sees. Yeah, it's one of those kind of games, isn't it, Salenti? Which gets you into the mood. Yeah, the map is big. The map is big. Unlike uh, with Sunless Skies, there's, lot, there's four smaller maps. And you also travel faster. Whereas in this, it's one massive map. Inspect the lawn flute with the anxious university student. See, the student we said we would, uh, you know, we would, uh, you know, pop into. It lies on the shore, just beyond the hill. You can make out the fluke spikes over the grass. The anxious student rushes by you, whooping. But he stops on the hilltop. On the shore, standing before the mass of dead needles, is a drowny in a nor in a Nuncian postal uniform. He glowers up at you. This is not where the fluke belongs. The drowny cries in a plummy voice. It's to be taken elsewhere. It already has a delivery label. That means I have to deliver it. The student sneers. Sod your label, Captain. Sorry, sod your label. Captain, help me haul the beast to Station 3. My advisor at the college has arranged room there for its dissection and study. My work will benefit us all. So do we want to take the lawn fluke to station three? Or do we want to trans give it to uh, Nunico, who will uh, transport it? I mean, we did, to be fair, we were not paid, but we did say we would help the student out, so. Yeah, they're actually really interesting, aren't they, John? Like, I, I think the way these games can play out can be quite quite fun. Is this a completely text-based game? No, uh, there's combat, there's uh, a lot of it's text-based, tech ba text just like Sun of Skies. A lot of combat as well, uh, and combat sort of related stuff, but a lot of it's going to be reading and sort of spooky stories. The lawn fluke is tied by a very reluctant Zaylers to drag behind your stern. On your deck, the anxious student twitches with delight. I can't believe what we have. I'm just... Whew. His hand tightens on the railing. The drowning postman stares up at you both. It's natural for corpses to grimace. When the corpse is still alive, it's actively upset at you. It's additionally distressing. 
So, does anyone know the rough what's happened for Fallen London? I don't know 100%, 100% and we'll probably find some... We'll probably find out some stuff as we go along, but I can give you a rough idea if you're wondering what the set, set scene is. Wait, we need to drag it to Station 3? Where the hell's Station 3? I guess that's somewhere else. Bound for Station 3, the anxious university student. Okay. There's no shop here, but at the Hunter's Keep, we do have some people here. Unlocked with the acquaintance, sojourning with the sisters. You know something of Hunter's Keep. So we can do, we can have a walk on the we can have the gardens. We can go round the, uh, or we get a port report. Plunging cliffs, soft green lawns, a well tucked away in the fold of the ground. Anything else? Ships rarely come here. Nothing changes. Even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle. The house and the sisters. But the Admiralty may be happy to know nothing's changed. We'll present ourselves to the house. So, what happened was, as far as I understand it, um, I'm sure people can correct me, as far as I understand it, Queen Victoria didn't want her husband Albert to die and made a deal with the uh, the creatures of the bazaar who go by the names uh, Mr. Irons, Mr. Mr. Mirrors, Mr. Vales. I think there's, a, there's quite a few of them. And the deal was London and everyone in it for your husband. You can go to the Thames a little bit. You can even go out, out, can't you? You can even go out to the surface. Which maybe we'll do. We'll go. We'll, maybe we'll go see Venice. You know, go go somewhere nice. And so these massive, massive bats, these Z bats, uh, they basically severed London and pulled it underneath the uh, underneath to the neath. It's called to the under Z. It's like a massive, massive, like absurdly massive underground cavern. And so there's a big hole, from what I understand, where London used to be, <laughs> up on the surface, Lude. but it is completely gone. And they brought it here and crashed it down, where where London currently stands, has fallen London. And as far as I'm aware, Queen Victoria is not super popular, because of that decision. People born down in the Untersea basically cannot go on the surface very easily. Um, it fucks them up, like the, sun, the actual natural sunlight just wrecks them. So most people end up having to stay down here. Anyway. Knock and enter. Knock. A maid with a smouldering topaz eye shows you into the parlour where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. To excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You're very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. And the cheerful one is Lucy. You're in good time for lunch. Will you join us? We're acquainted with the sisters of Hunter's Keep. Where is everyone? Where did they go? They're here. They're here. And you're not alone. So we can have uh, lunch with Cynthia. We could have uh, lunch with Lucy. We could have lunch with Phoebe. Hmm. Who should we have lunch with? Cynthia is the eldest. Melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Lucy is the middle sister. Sunny, restless, prone to giggles. Phoebe is the soft-spoken, watchful, and unpredictable. Thank you, Vertigo. Thank you very, very much, by the way, for the 37. You looking for the cute owner over one wind stream? Well, if you uh, if you if you spot the cute owner, you have to let me know. <laughs> Seriously, thank you very much, Vertigo. Very kind of you. Lucy, Phoebe, poor Cynthia. Let's start with the middle. Let's go with the middle sister. Let's go straight in the middle of the ground. Lucy leans over and whispers you in confidentiality a complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in the attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're cheerful as you've been in months. I lost one terror. We are now acquainted with the sisters of Hunter's Keep. You lo you've gained a supply, which is very, very nice. We lost 36 hunger, also incredibly good. And we now have the gods of the Z, Stone's attention. Hmm. Interesting. The parlour is empty. So we can only do one thing at a time. So generally when we visit... Generally, when we visit, um, you get one port action at a time, usually. But, but, but and then you have to dock again, I think, later. 
We have to come back like a few days later. No lunch today, apparently. So we'll just leave. There's no shops here. Oh yeah, we got a mascot. So we got a Blemigan, which gives us three mirrors and two pages, which is better than the ferret. Sorry, ferret. We'll take the Blemigan. We like the Blemigan. We can speak to our uh, our cook stuff, but we're gonna do that later. So, so I'm gonna turn my lights off again. Lights use a lot more fuel, and until my terror gets to a sort of point, uh, like mm, red terror is a bit of a problem. Guess it goes up quite quickly then. This is gonna be a problem because I'm not gonna be able to do this, uh, and it's gonna be stuck down there forever. Vera, you've played, um... The interface book, can you? Well, this one. Oh, we got combat. Pirates. There we go, try and keep behind them. Shit. Nice. We destroyed a pirate steam pinnacle. The ship is yours. What we do with her? Loot and scuttler. She's a vile old vessel and the Z's aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. The pinnacles don't sail far from the hidden harbors. There's something in the back of the hold. A bolt of fabric. We shake it and try and open it. Spider's silk. You find spider silk in London, of course. There are trouble there with the sorry spider infestations, like anywhere in the Neath. But for real quality, you need to go east to the Carnet, or the fang bristling fastness of Saviour's Rocks. In. Supplies are supplies. So we can stay along the, uh, the shore here. We need our terror goes up slower. It's fairly straightforward. Should I get rid of it then? It's fairly straightforward, it's fine. There we go, I'll leave the light. While we got uh, stuff on, I'll leave the lights. So fragments are for XP. The more fragments we get, the better. There we are. Something awaits me in port. So there's a port here, it looks like. Should we have a look, see what this is? Oh, we're a vendor blight already, that was fortunate. Look at that. You've brought the decaying emigrant north, now what? Your passenger has been drinking. Ahoy, she chuckles. Defend yourself. She launches a tip to the assault. Your crew hang back, chuckling. Thanks, crew. <laughs> a straightforward challenge. Go. The Tomb Colonists have a lifetime of bitter experience. Some of them are the, some of the deadliest combatants under the earth. Possibly this one is, when she hasn't drunk so much rum. You'll never know. She salutes you, laughing, after you disarm her. Good fight, she opines. And then she staggers backwards and falls over the side. You never do find out what happens to her, but at least you have a rather magnificent cavalry saver and her belongings. Hmm. You brought the Tomb Colonist to Vendor Blight. You gained one outlandish artifact. We gained one iron. We lost the Tomb Colonist and gained two supplies. That's actually pretty decent. Few die in Fallen London, they come here instead. You get some nice artworks of, <laughs> like, what the various towns look like and stuff. As well as the very beautiful, like, uh, sprite, sort of, designed artwork on the actual map as well. Two friggin' years, Mogs! Oh, man. Time really does fucking fly. As I said before, man, it's been nice to have you back. And thank you. That's a nice thing, Rogue. Chances are she can't die, so it's all good. So it's not impossible in Fallen London to die, but the general gist of it, it is very, very difficult to die. Uh, to the point where sometimes being stabbed is a minor inconvenience, or being shot, or, you know. The rules of life and death work differently down here. Very differently. The Tomb Colony of Enderblight. On deck, you can hear the sound that, that a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience, or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. So we can't do any of these things at the moment. A weak call for help, or assisting a, a specialised collector. Or a dusty glass of wine. But we can explore Vendor Blight and get a support report, I think. Uh, ah, this one. Gather gossip. 
And on the coast of the undersea, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists, and settle here in bandaged peace. They don't give up their ties to home or their politics. They gather halls of complex clues, and thus keep your contacts in London interested. That's what we wanted. So we can explore Vendorblight a little bit. Visit the first curator. Z Captain, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It's all, it has been like this more, much longer than London, like the oldest of the tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dis uh, dissolve in the end. It's time to close. Oh, that's good to see. No more light. The obsquitious stew uh, steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into the near darkness. A pair of luminous lamp lighter bees buzz in lattice ivory tubes. There's no other source of light. A bandaged shape, no longer larger than a child, lies crumpled in a couch. It lifts his head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish the soft from the uh, the voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Luckily, not space bees this time. So no throwing deeks out to go get them. The most interesting is elevated terror. Yeah. So we can listen to the whispered request, Z Captain. Silkskin, not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colours, seven colours. Pay well. So we can, uh, the Neath bow. We can accept the commission. We can listen to the request. Let's listen to the request. Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelagon, Stewarders list. Find them here and bring them there and bring them. Wide Black Z. Ask about the Grand Sanatorium. Oh, Silkskin, you don't want to know. The chuckling becomes a cough. We don't die here below. Not unless we go to Z. So we need something else. Somewhere to end. I'll accept the commission. Thank you. This poor flesh thirsts for colours. It collapses, rustling back on the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsquitious... The obsquitious... Obsquitious? Obsquitious? Steward nods. The book. Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old. Old as dust. We'll all be grateful if you do this one last favour. So we need to get different colours from the Neath. So, something to be looking. Alright. And lastly, we can explore Vendor Blight. Here they favour candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are sw swag like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture. Until they laugh or cough. One building there seems abandoned. The builders of this place worked with great slabs of neath woolstone, carved with blank-eyed, unsmiling faces and blocky stoic serpents. So we can search wearily. The neath is rarely gentle, treat this place as enemy territory. Or have a picnic. Creepers climb the shattered pyramid as the owl blinks you from the idol's mouth. In the undergrowth, a cave lizard munches dec uh, decorously on white cricket. The place seems peaceful for a while. We'll have a picnic. We lost two terror, lost some supplies, but, you know. You and your comrades find stones to perch on and munch lava bread, truffles and herring. Someone passes a bottle of Greyfield, an, an adequate vintage. White crickets buzz in the weeds. A shiver of wind passes, and the air is still. With the absence of chill that passes for warmth down here, two sailors compare tattoos. Your head swims pleasantly with wine. Could have been worse. Right, shop-wise. We've got the ability to buy fuel and supplies. Obviously, fuel way more expensive here than London. And same with supplies. But we should be okay for now. We've got nine and eight, which isn't actually that bad. We don't have any tomb colonists, so we can't sell any. And the Hollow Temple, you could sell news and uh, visions of the surface. But we don't have anything at the moment, so... There's no ship. There is a shipyard here, but... Alright, I think we probably scoot. So what else we got to do? We gotta find let's have a look at the map. Horseman Stag, Carissa's Point. So we need to find uh the station somewhere, don't we? Not sure where we're gonna find that station, but For now we should have a bit of a look around and see what we can find, I think. So we'll, I think we should head like this and go back to London. The more places we can find, the better. We've gained a secret. Speak to your officers to improve your abilities. 
So if we send the bat out. I forget, does it doesn't use supplies in the bat out in this game, does it? Or does it? No island in range. Hey Toffee. No, the bat's free. It might be the sequel I was thinking of. Alright. As you can see, the sea is pretty chill at the moment. We're by London. Nothing nothing too terrifying over here. Ah, an enemy ship. Uh oh. That's a problem. If we stay behind it, we might be able to do something. But we're gonna get pretty pretty wrecked here, I think, if we're not careful. I'm gonna try and we we got more maneuverability than him, so I'm gonna try and circle behind him. That's the, that's the benefit of having a slightly nippier ship, or like any easier turning circle, we can do this. Definitely don't want to do that. It's throwing flares at us, but it's not doing much damage at the moment, which is good. This could be quite deadly, so I'm going to have to be quite careful. If we're in the light, uh, we get more light, uh, more light to hit. Three. Okay, a few more hits, we should be good. Shit. Shit. We should wait, really. As long as we wait, the better. Yeah, rolling this guy. Again, it's, uh, he's suffering the fact that we've got um, the maneuverability on him. There we go. Woof. Crippled, broken, already feeling the disease, endless hunger. Little remains of the ship, but scraps of sinking cargo and a few buoyant parts of splintered carcass. Investigate. You see a close, shining a lamp on the debris. Captain, quick, over here on the port side. The pirate poet. The legendary clay woman corsair. I've never seen this before, this looks new. She clings tight to the last few scraps of floating debris. Defeated, but defiant. Salvage the cargo instead. Throw her rope, claim her bounty. What do you reckon? Do we, rec do we rescue her? Take her in? How much? I got six fuel left. Okay. Six supplies. Save him. Save this gallywag. Alright. It takes three crewmen to pull the pirate boat from the Z's clutches, while others mutter about bringing an unfinished man, an unfinished woman, aboard ship. She just smirks. She carries little on her, but verses of poetry tattooed over every visible inch. An old sword almost as chipped as she is. Fortunately, her salvaged possessions also include the jangling money purse on her belt, fat and ready to pay the traditional freedom price of her current bounty. As much as the crew could subdue her, all are relieved when she is aboard the lifeboat, rowing away through the darkness towards Guida's morn. 400 echoes! Fuck! That's pretty, pretty nice! Damn. The salt lions. Ah, the salt lions are actually really nice. Good way to make some early money. You've managed to do more in 40 minutes than you have in 4 hours. Are you really actually? What, when you played this? Or? Home. Warmly lit windows, company and peace. Thoughts of home come at the strangest times. We've discovered the salt lions. The OG money making scheme, yep. And I think we'll go we'll go pay a visit to them, shall we? The salt lions. Two basalt beasts, cathedral sized. There is vast sorrow in their empty eyes. Two basalt beasts, cathedral sized. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like rot. Pick pick picking. There's a supply dock below. Visit the unmakers. 
Muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools watching you approach. Passing a hip flask around. An uncu an uncutious overseer. Fuck, I need a thesaurus for this game sometimes. It's just same to say with skies. I, I feel incredibly uh not well read. We can visit them. And we'll do a port, port report since we're here. You recall the activities of the Unmakers, such as they are. Rite of Stone and Silence. And so, we need a deposit in 20... Uh, 20... How much uh, space do we have in the hold? Oh, we actually got plenty. Yeah, so we can actually do that. So, we can help bring, uh... Like, the Salt Lion's rocks over to Fallen London and get some free money. Well, not free money. We actually gotta, you know, shift it ourselves. But... You want to like this game? There's so much random reading. To be fair, this is this is a this game is uh, seventy percent reading and spooky stories, and thirty percent driving around in combat. Like the real the real meat and bones of this is going to be the reading and the sort of like it's kind of like the SCP stuff, you know? Like it's it, they're kind of sp it's spooky stories to tell in the dark, right? Yeah, the Salt Ryans are going to see us well for a little bit, and we've actually got some initial capital off of uh, the bounty we just got, so that really worked out well. Visit the Unmakers. Let's go visit them, shall we? We get funding from the Bazaar, it's true, but Station 4? I wouldn't call it Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary. Or occult yeah, basalt. Or occult ballast. Most of them. Some go down to the places under the Bazaar. More tea cakes? We lost 5 terror. That's all for now. We gained 1 fragment. I'm pretty sure with 100 fragments we get a secret or something, don't we? Or something. The Unmakers are here to reduce the salt line to rubble, one block at a time. Yoink. If the stones weep, an Unmaker advises you, ignore them, unless they flood your old. Of course, you probably should drop them overboard. Don't, uh, don't tell anyone I said that. We've now got 20 Sphinx Stone. The Unmakers have smashed these sad and rubbly remnants of the flax of a salt lion. A contact in London will purchase them. Alright. So there's no shops here, but as you can see, we're actually, we're going to go this way to get back, I think. So we'll go round the other salt line. We got five bits of fuel remaining. We're reasonably close. We could probably drop the lantern. Yeah. While we're close to like ports, we can uh, we can generally. Oh fuck! It's a fucking crab. Okay. We need to stay away from the giant crab. The giant crab is a fucker. Alright, so we're probably going to end up doing some runs with the lions, because the uh, it's going to get some decent decent change. There's something underwater some distance to the southwest. Something underwater, you say? When it goes red, it's time to have the uh, lights on, probably. Oh, I, I guess I need a sub for that. Demu Island is someplace in the south. Oh, that's handy. Again, the more islands we can visit, the better. A tiny breeze stirs in your hair and dies. Ah, fucking crab. No. No. It might not have seen us. It might not have seen us. We're not really a combat-weary ship. I can fight other ships because I kind of know how to sort of get behind them if need be. But uh, dealing with crabos is not going to be super easy. Also, the music in this in the both uh, Sunless games is is really really solid. That's good stuff. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. No space trains this time, but I forget. I need to talk to my officers to get to do my secrets. I can do that when we go back to London, I guess. The Iron and Misery Co. Funging Station at Demu Island. There we go, we dock. The Iron and Comb, uh, the, uh, the Iron and Misery Company funding station. Iron M has a funger operation here, felling giant bolidrous shrooms for building materials, harvesting curely for its medicinal properties. So, firstly, as always, we'll get a port report. So, compile a port report. Of course, Iron M's activities here don't seem that interesting. Nevertheless, 
you record what you can. Pull reports are great. We always want to get one because we, that's going to help pay for our uh, pay for everything when we get back. Though again, we've had a bit of initial capital from that bounty, which is fucking incredibly useful. So you know, up puffs the affable factor. Oh, hello, Captain. Thank God for visitors. We go quite mad out here, otherwise. <laughs> quite mad. How can we be of assistance? This poor fellow needs the company, and he can spare an hour away, so we can have uh, we can have a chat with him. You sit on the veranda of the Factor's house, looking over the fungal jungle, an expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale, but even the tea has a hint of mildew. The Factor is good company. He shares odd stories about ice and roses of Irem, the monstrosities of the Sea of Lilies, and a little restaurant in Vendorblight where he enjoyed the most extraordinary seafood. Vendorblight, I know. I'd never met a tomb connoisseur who cook, but you must visit the place. Do you know it? Yours is a load of uh, bulgy... Balu Bologius? Bologius? Frond? Carted above your ship. I've eaten so much of the stuff, I fear that I might be transformed entirely into fungus. He leads confident, uh, confidently towards you. It happens, you know. But one does have to eat a rather lot of it first. If you gain some supplies, we've been told an exceptionally fine restaurant in Vendor Blight. Hmm, nice. Gain some fragments, and lost some terror. Always nice. We can gather supplies, but... Eh, no real reason to. Any shops here? A sluggish provisioner. There's some fuel, but I don't think we'll need any fuel. Let's have a look. Nah, we don't need fuel. We can we can make it back to London. Fine. All right, cool. Sunder space. I'm really kind of. Sp I respect their ability to want to make whatever games they want to make, but I am personally disappointed. The next game is a visual novel, not a, uh, not Sunder Seas Two or Sunder Skies Two, or something. Yeah, that's why I'm running with the light off, John. Just in case. Right, so... I keep, I keep... I should be spamming the bat, really. I always forget. Oh, there's a... Something here. Mutton Island is to your southwest. Well, we should probably visit Mutton Island. I'm not, this, I'm not sure what this is. An outpost? Home waters. The light ship, far from home. You can purchase fuel... Or speak to the crew. Don't have any recent news, though. No, that's fine. We'll just leave then. Chug, 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 chug. Keep an eye out for things beneath the waves. Just on the off chance we run into anything unpleasant. Ah, small crab. Small crab I can deal with. Bogged off, huh? So we'll go to Mutton Island. There's some pirates over there as well. Again, the more stuff we visit now, the better. Because the more port reports we get. And the more fuel we can get. Uh, it's permadeath, by the way. Just for extra added uh, fun. Quaker's Heaven. Or Haven. Once the simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in. You can't do that, whatever that is. Drinks of the Cock and Magpie. There's only one public house on the island, the Cock and Magpie. It's famed for its local cider and, of course, Z food. For 20 echoes, we can do that. We can pick up a wretched mog. Wow! A yellow eyed, mangy piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide. Presumably, it's hungry. So we can feed it with supplies, which I'm not going to do this time, actually, because I need those supplies for now. We can chat to the fisherman. We can buy uh, supplies from the stall. I can buy fuel. Ah, so we want to chat with the fisherman. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbour. They see all that happens here, but you need coin to open their mouths. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers of their work. Carnate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. We can have drinks if we want for 20 echoes, but I'm actually not going to at the moment, I think. I think we're probably better off leaving for now. So let's head back. Oh, we need to go back up to London, don't we? I'm probably going to have to shoot this fucking crab. Bonk. Yeah, these guys suck.
dissect it for a low-risk challenge or butcher it. Let's dissect it. You said to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops, one of the deep Z crab species. But its eyes, normally vestigial in those troglodyte beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and again from your knife. Nice, we got some fragments for that. Alright, let's uh, sail up the side of London here. So you can see most of London takes part of this side, so... Alrighty. So, a reasonably, reasonably uneventful first foray into into uh, the London seas. Honestly, I've had I've had runs where I've gone out and got like bummed by like a giant iceberg or like a horrible monster, and it's been over pretty quick. So, you know, sometimes you gotta sort of take it as it comes. Six out of ten star. It's not bad actually. And we're back to the docks of London. Here we are. Back to London, which is nice. We can hand in our port reports, get some fuel, get get rid of our uh, our basalt lion that might be crying in our holes. It is a cozy game time. It's basically story time. It's like a ghost story thing, but you know. Collect messages from the harbour master. This story that only appears in you bit sea for a little while. All the clattering song of the dockside. It soothes the soul. Are there messages for me? Something has changed in the neath. Another day, the healer, your time at Z will change you. Someone wants to sign on. That's all for now. You have another one of this. Another day, a free evening. The Rose Market bustles. Okay. We've got a lot of things going on here. Alright, let's see. Firstly, we should get rid of our... Uh, London. Deliver the Sphinx Stone. Special constables, black uniforms, distinctive caps, with the badge of the Ministry of Public Decency. Wait with a cart. Here we are. Sign. 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 Here's a receipt. Here's a discretionary contract. Uh, here's a penalty contract. Your vision is blurred by the end of it all. The cart rumbles off into the coiling fog, and here's your reward. 500 echoes. Very, very nice. We lost two terror, and we delivered the Sphinxstone. Good stuff. Right, let's visit the Admiralty's off survey office. And we shall hand in our port reports. So firstly, Hunter's Keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They're citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. We gained some echoes, gained a favour, gained some fuel, which is nice. And we can your visit to Hunter's Keep has been confirmed. The first time we visit every port, I think we gain fuel for the very first time, which is quite nice. Vendor Blight. What are the nearly dead up to then? Gain 10 echoes, one favour, and some fuel. Very nice. The Salt Lions. The Bazaar has always taken interest in that place. Gain 20 echoes, one fuel. We gained another favour. Quaker's Haven. Been trying the original robbery lumps, have we? Gain some echoes, some favour, and some more fuel. Very nice. Demu Island. You've been to Demu's Gate. Your visit to Demu Island has been done. And 20 echoes. Another favour. And we can, if we want to, with more favours, we can speak to the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Ooh, sinister. No appointment, but, uh, well, apparently I'm supposed to show you in anyway. Very well. You're ushered into his office in, off the mansion's pyre, a cramped room with a vast desk. He surveys you across the desk. Ah, yes, the merchant captain of whom we hear so, so we hear such complicated things. Admiral will purchase intelligence. So we can actually trade in favours for um, uh, for various bits. So we can ask them to provide little fuel to cover the costs. This will take you to the dry dock, where one point of favour will get you to two, three fuel. Just not terrible. Vital intelligence, if we actually have some of that, but we don't. And submit your port reports. We've already done that though. A, a, re a, revel a revelatory chart. Speak of the moves of the great game, which we don't have. We can ask what he needs. I don't think you need. Information. Visit a port and we'll be interested in the port report. Visit a place of particular interest and we'll be interested in the strategic information you gain. We'll pay you well. Don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. His lift curls. What's left of it. So if we want to, we can actually trade in our favours for some uh, fuel. I don't think we need to at the moment. 
No, really, I should have more fuel than that. Let's have a look. We do, we have seven fuel. Okay. I forget, don't I have a hold? Like a like a a bank, or do I not get that in this game? I can't forget. No bank. No, that's the sequel, isn't it? Alright. So I guess we can sell. Uh I can sell my spider silk. So we'll sell one of those. Get rid of that for now. Alrighty, let's have a look around. So We've got a few things that have popped in. So, a specialist surgeon. Oh. She's staying at the reputable boarding house near the docks and has made that she's known available for work. Her talents could be employed on your vessel. For 30 echoes. The cladery air as a doctor increases your heart's nine. Yes, please. She comes with a bag full of knives and her own personal sharpening stone. Don't touch these. Don't let anyone else touch them. You can put your officer by dragging her from the officer's uh, tab at the top. To my surgeon. Boop. She gives us six iron, six hearts, and a doctor board. That's really good. I mean, that's a lot of stats early as well, which is very handy. That's what we want. The cook, not so good, but uh, that's a that's a really decent like uh, decent load of stats. My lodgings. Here you may catch up with your correspondence, rest, or retire altogether from seafaring life. The better your lodgings, the better your quality of retirement, naturally. So what can we do in here? We can rest for 10 echoes and get to clear some terror if we want to. Uh, we can read the morning papers. Should we do that? News from abroad. The Carnage is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies on the Carnelian coast want independence. They always do. The Untersea, the papers report, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't. You'd know. Oh, a promotional coupon from Mrs. Plenty's Provisioners for a half cask of salt herring. You could use that. Oh, nice. So, do we want to spend 10 to reduce our terror? Uh, we can go out and have a look, to be fair. We can have a look around London, really. We can visit the Rose Market. We could visit the university, with a secret. We could mm, go around the docks if we want to. We could hire on more crew. I don't know, I think eight crew's enough. I think if you have more crew, you have to feed them better, of course. But I think you go faster with more crew. Yeah, Terra's okay for now, isn't it? We do need to repair slightly, though. Uh, if you're badly damaged and short of money, 75 echoes. 100 echoes. We can call in a favour to get it done cheap. We're at 59 out of 75, so we've we've taken 16 points of damage, which is not huge. But not terrible. Mm. <laughs> Lude. I don't think we want to... The rats. Employ the rat as engineers. Well, these guys. Crushbite, thank you very much for the, re the actual subscription. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I mean, I sh assume you are since you've subscribed. Thank you very much. Please peruse our fine uh, collection of various uh, not lewd emotes we've got. Shop tab has rats in one of the stores, really. Ratties, you say? The Rattus Faber Assistant. In combat, Rattus Faber Assistant can be deployed for quicker repairs. I've never seen that before, is that new? Been following you for years, man. Love your personality and gaming abilities. Thanks, dude. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you very much. So, welcome in and I'm, uh, you know, enjoy the chill out here, hopefully. So, how much money have we actually got? 800 at the moment. Oh, I'll buy one of those. I don't. I guess they sit in the cargo. That's fine. So what are we, we going to need? More fuel? we got seven. 
We'll buy ten. Ten should be enough. Supplies. Get eight supplies. Because we want to go back to the... We want to probably do another loop. Pick out some port reports. Get the li Go to the lions again. I guess. That's probably the most likely thing. I think that's probably what we want to do. I'm not going to repair yet. I think 59 out of 75 is okay. And I think it would be overkill right now. I hope. Uh, we don't have any wine yet. So we still can't do that. Uh, the Merchant Venturer. An urchin tugs at your sleeve. Governor? Governor wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs. You'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you come across them. He has a request. Okay, what do you actually want? Something silky. Oh, you need 21. Jesus. I'll offer you a much better price you get in Woolstack. Much better. 1,500 echoes of the lot. you find Silk and Savior's rocks far to the east, or in the Carnet. Something warming. Zoop. They sell it at Mount Palmerston, somewhere in the north of the undersea. 1,000 echoes for seven sealed skins. Alright. Interesting. The Rose's Wharf. What's on here? The Rose Market caters to collectors and eccentrics. Anyone with exotic taste and the gumption to harass sea captains. According to the arcane, archaic rules of the market, you can only choose one trade per visit. Of which I can't do anything. Let's call some interesting acquaintance to the Rose Market. This will usher in a new day at the market and perhaps new buyers. Uh, I don't have anything I want to do here yet, so let's say no. Right, I think there might be much else. There is... Uh, we can visit the university, but I want to keep my secrets, I think, for now. Alright, I think we're probably good for now. I need at least 200 to... I need, I need at least 200 for repairs. So we could actually buy... We could actually get an upgrade here. I mean, we've got a lot of money. We've already got, initially, a lot of money. So we could actually use this to get something quite nice. The Bandersnatch forward weapon. So what do we actually have if we look at my ship? I've got an auxiliary weapon, a bridge. i got bridge, engines. I can't do a forward gun, I guess. So we got a fairly crappy gun. Um, what do flares even do? Reveal your... Increase the speed of your firing station. Okay. So we're going to want... We're going to want some stuff, aren't we? This is guns. Do we want a better engine, is the question. Engine, More engines eats more fuel, mind you. It does make us go a bit quicker, which is kind of nice. I guess there's more mirrors. It's a bigger lamp. I think a better gun might be... Kind of useful. That's what we got at the moment, is this thing. So, we could swap it for vastly increased damage. A torpedo net, interesting. There's a lot of new stuff in this that I don't recognise. Hey, you punked. This is slightly more expensive. So that's warm-up times 4 seconds. About the same. Slightly less damage, though. That is more crew damage. Do I have a forward slot? We got a deck slot, not a forward slot. Yeah. That's a forward one, is it? That's that's deck. That's forward. Oh, that's forward. That's why. Okay, so we actually want to replace with this then. Which is this one. That's aft, forward. That's deck for 500, but I think that's a bit too much. Let's get let's get the 200 on. It's a nice little upgrade. This where is it? Deck weapon. So a nice little upgrade. We can sell the existing one. There we go. A weapon of respectable power. So we're a little bit a little bit better. All right, let's go. Let's. We've got 10 fuel, eight supplies. One Rattus, and we can go out again, I think. Oh, I need to talk to my crew, do I? 
speak to. Spend a secret, unless it's higher than 100. So I can... <laughs> the Shady Cook. What do you want, he might say, but a more coughing fit takes him. Eventually, he straightens up and wipes his mouth. So I can get more hearts if I want to. I want my Blemigan. We can entertain my Blemigan. Nothing awaits you. Time to leave port. You can see the indentation of a porthole in the rim of its cap. It must have been pressed against the face of the window. Is it bored? We entertain the Blemigan. The Blemigan flails and squirms. You tickle it. Its high-pitched warble is almost uh, certainly a giggle. When you stop to check you're not actually hurting it, it wraps its tendrils around your fingers and pulls your hand back. Apparently it's enjoying itself. Yay. You can hover over the table. What, on the... Oh, nice. Nine bonus from your stats. Hearts heal to fend. I mean, getting more hearts could be useful. How much does it give us? For one secret. We gained one heart and lost a secret. Alright. Ask, why did the Shady Cook choose to go to Z? He looks you directly in the eyes. Surely. He repeats it more so. Sea of Lilies. He licks his lips very slowly. Eventually you have to look away. The Sea of Lilies is somewhere in the East Central Unterzee. What about our new... Our new uh, surgeon? I can invite her to dine with me for some supplies, which is not really what I want to do. Oh, I can propose to her. I'm oh, finished man. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Alright. I guess we should leave for now. Let's go again. Let's go do our loop. So let's go to Hunter's Keep. We'll do the same thing. We'll go to Hunter's Keep, Vendor Blight, check out the restaurant, go to the Salt Lions, to Mew Island Mutton, and get we'll get another round of money in, I think. I think that's the best thing to do. Right, we got a bit we got a better gun this time. We can see what other stories might pop up. Again, for those who were here for the Sunless Skies playthroughs, this is similar to what we did. Uh, was basically make a bit of extra money, see if we can get some better equipment to, to, to start doing longer excursions out, is the plan. And each time we'll try and make slightly more, more excursions out if we can. Alright, we fed the crew. We're good like that. Unfortunately, we can, when we get dinner with the Hunter's Keep, it actually reduces the amount of hunger. But if we're right at the end, we're not going to get much out of that, really. But we met Sea Sand yet. We haven't really met anything too dangerous. We met a powerful ship that we sorted out. Oh, the sisters. Even when the sisters aren't feeling sociable, they can be tempted out of their lair by the smell of new stories. We do have recent news, to be fair. So, well, we need to get a port report, don't we? Let's, let's do that. News, news! You ask the sulfur-eyed maid to carry a few hints of your news to the sisters. Odd enough, she comes back with the message that her headaches are cured and you're invited to lunch. Z-bats cry out. They are nothing like birds. So we had lunch with Lucy last time. Let's have lunch with Cynthia this time. The eldest, melancholic, pensive, and occasionally dramatic. Cynthia grasps your arms and whispers to you. Her eyes are wild and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems, to the, it seems to you that you're sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake. Listen to a story of murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap up something for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. We gained some supplies. We gained one terror and a tale of terror, which is kind of nice. We're acquainted with the sisters of uh, Hunter's Keep. We lost eight hunger. And we have the attention of salt. All right. Well, let's let's leave the sisters to it then, and we'll head uh, we'll head north to Vanderblight for now, which isn't too far to the north. I really like skies, though. I remember the Blue Kingdom was really irritating to get through generally. I thought uh, I'm gonna put the light on when it's red at least. Oh, oh, good. Bat swarm. Take out the bats out if we can. Good. Success. We can dispose of the corpses. 
Little leathery corpses lie scattered across your deck. The rest of the swarm vanishes into the neathly dark. We can gather their corpses and go and, and eat them, or we can reduce our terror. Uh, terror's at 10. I think supplies are probably more useful at this point. An, old, an, author, an unorthodox diet. These little bones are troublesome, and the flesh a little gamey, but salt them well enough and they're quite edible. Free food is free food. And we've got some gribblers over here as well. We're going to take a hit here, probably, unfortunately. Five damage, not too bad. We can loot and scuttle the pirates. And in the cache of curiosities we find... Two fuel! A crate of fuel. Coke. Like coal, but more so. As the Department of Infernal Verification would have it. Very nice. So we took five damage, but, you know. In the grand scheme of things, not that terrible. Favourite city in the Neath? Uh, hmm. I always liked Adam's Way. It's not really a city, I suppose, but I always liked that as a location. I found it very, it's very kind of creepy and sort of weird, like area. Like that, the, the Elder Continent sort of stuff. I've, I've never played the DLC, so I don't know if there's any more stuff to this. Um, so some of this is new. I don't, I, in fact, I don't remember the, the, the rats, for example. But, so that's kind of interesting. Alright. To Vendor Blight. Monk. So, someone's trying to get our attention. Huh. One of the Tomb Corners takes an obvious interest in your crew. Specifically, the Claddery Air. Alright. The Tomb Cornish draws you a little way away from the Claddery Air. Don't tell her you met me, he says in a hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice. Hope to fix it so I wouldn't be able to, wouldn't look for her, my daughter. So I wouldn't want to. He wheezes. Didn't work. Operations never completely effective. Need to know my daughter's well. Happy. Finding enough patience. Getting enough to eat, and so forth. In exchange for, for the simplest news, he explains himself. I'm her father, he says. Ordinary engineer. Not the sort of parent she would want. If you wish to tell the heir about this encounter, you can do so by speaking with her. Probably should, shouldn't we? So, firstly, let's get our port report. Uh, which is... Gather gossip. There we go. So we got our port report. Uh, what else do we want to do here? We want to go to our restaurant, don't we? With a restaurant, a restaurant recommendation. Fine cuisine in Vendor Blight? Now that would be something. A corkscrew street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow light glows from the glit, uh, gilt lit, <laughs> gl bleh, gilt lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads... Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A grey moustache pokes impertinently from under his bandages. Come in, come in. A bandaged uh, poissonneur, the Vendabite, seeks passage to Z-Captain sympathetic to intrepid cuisine. Jesus Christ. We lost Terra. Right. It's a cramped little place, but much better lit than most places in the tomb colonies. The scent of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. So we can sample today's special if we want to for 60. That's quite expensive. The food here is exceptional. You need not fear poisoning or boredom. Definitely not boredom. This is usually a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a dusty glass of wine. And it could also reduce hunger. Offering a strange catch we don't have. Or we can recruit the bandaged poissonneur. The bandaged poissonneur has long wished to travel, but you'll need to outfit the galley to his exacting standards. So we need to hire him for the injured echoes, but so for sixty echoes is quite expensive. I'm not sure we want to do that yet. It's quite quite a lot of money this early on, and we don't really need to uh, do that. We've got it unlocked now, which is nice, so we can always come back here. Oh, mushroom wine! No, we... we need to find someone who sells mushroom wine for our thing. That's what we need to do. We can buy fuel or supplies. Mostly, I don't think we need to. We got our we got our port report of Vendor Blight. So now we can leave. Oh, London sells it, does it? Oh shit! So let's go back. Let's go straight. Oh, oh shit! I just hit F, which is boost, which is not what I wanted to do. My fuel, my fuel. Never mind. 
We'll scoot across this way. Beware, your engines will occasionally explode. Yeah, we don't want to explode our engines. What we do want to do, however, is go get us some delicious... I mean, you can see the size of the map, by the way. We've only covered this small amount of it. The further east we go, the nastier shit we generally you run into. There's some nasty stuff up, like, northish as well, and far south, but, yeah. You can stop and wine in London. It's not much, but it's honest. That's an interesting way of making money, actually. So where are we? Heading to the Salt Lands. Put the light back on again. I always forget there's like a quite a decent way of reducing terror. I always forget. Oh! What we pissed off? I can't see anything. Nothing. Okay. Speaking of honest work, more salt lining. Yeah, the salt lines definitely aren't creepy or weird at all. That would be unnatural. I do like it turns you around when you dock automatically, which is handy. Alright. We shall first salt rights. Interesting. We can pirate report report. Same deal as before. What salt rights? The face of the Northern Sphinx is all but gone. Lost faces are sacred to salt, they say. You're drawn here. To what end? Salt's voice is distant, but clear. Uh, so we can get the we can basically get the gods' attention, I guess, which I'm not entirely convinced is a good idea right now. I guess I was trying to play this game all wrong. I thought it was about endless exploration and small loops. Well, the thing is, you do want to do these big exploration stuff, right? Just like in Sunless Skies, but you have to have the ability to do so. Now, I'm not saying I'm playing this the right way or you're playing it the wrong way, but certainly the way I've played this previously is get is getting. It's. You kind of want to make bigger and bigger loops as you get more and more money. Because you can get more money, you can carry more fuel. What could go wrong, indeed? So we're going to... Uh, do we want to visit the Unmakers again? Yeah, we lost Fire Terror. This doesn't happen all the time, actually. So we will carry the Sphinx to London again. Which is very nice. And we can scoot off. So, once again, we'll head to Demo Island. Again, we'll do, we'll do the same loop we did before. There's no reason not to at this point. No reason not to. We'll go past the salt line. This doesn't last forever. We don't get to do this very often, or very much, but we're gonna while we can, we should. Chuck, 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 chuck. This game's very sort of again, very Lovecraftian in nature. There's a lot of really unknown spooky shit that we've gotta sort of keep an eye out for, I suppose. And let's see what else we can find if the bat can give us anything. Aha! There's something else over here. So here we go. We got a little we got more fuel. We got a decent amount of fuel, so we can skedaddle over this way. Chuck 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 chuck. Eventually we're gonna get better engines, which does make things go a little bit quicker. Although the drawback is a better engine uses more fuel. So, you know, shrug. Though in theory the less eventually fuel is less of the problem, it's more terror. Managing terror. Oh, did I miss it? Or is this not a place we could dock? It's probably not a place we could dock then. It says there's something there, but... Under the Z. Ah, right. I keep forgetting there's now stuff un underneath. Again, cause I never, I'm not used to that. Sorry, that's, that's my fault. Send out the bat. Man, there's something really... Mysterious about the soundtrack in this game. I, I really like it. It really sort of hammers home the sort of you're alone and kind of fucked kind of feel. We got no terror here, which means you can probably drop the. Uh... That's another thing that we, is quite useful, Axe Twin, is um, managing your light. You want to have your light off as much as possible. Because it eats, especially early going, because it eats a lot of fuel. Giant crab under the sea. All right, here we are. We've back, gone back to Demo Island. We can have tea with the factor again, but of course, firstly, we shall compile a port report. There we are. What else have we got here? 
Except a volunteer. We get a crew for one echo. One of the company's bolligious fellas has negotiated an early release of her contract. It's the Sproutling, she tells you, her face pleading. I keep picking them out of my porridge and me hair and me eyes. Take me away. I'm a good worker. You alright? We're getting the crew, which is kind of nice. The more crew we have, the more efficient our ship is. Um, also, if we get hit, you know, we, we lose crew. We can gather supplies, we don't really need to. There's a shop here to buy some fuel if we wanted to. We're at eight and seven supplies. Nah, we're fine. Alrighty. So we're going to go to Mutton Island again. Uh, we could potentially go slightly further south to see if there's anything else. Do a bit of a longer loop. So we've done salt. We've done... Okay. More emergency rations, exactly. There's a pirate ship over there that's got... Is it coming for us? No. Home waters is all pretty friendly. Like, there's not too much we've got to worry about here. There we go. Lose a bit of terror that way. Nothing so far. Ah, shit. Okay, that's not good. This could be a problem. Might better run. Ten damage. If I can stay behind him, I might better... Lost one crew. 34. We're gonna get killed by this thing, I think. If we can leave at this point. Oof. We lost the crew, which is not ideal. It's injured, so it might be slowing down a bit. Alright. Right, we have to get some more crew back home. There we go. Right. Limping home a bit. We'll get some... Uh, so we lost three crew. It's a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, still... Yeah, the lights off. The lights make a huge difference, doesn't it? Alright, let's go see the Quakers. Once again, we shall... Uh, chat to the... The fisherman for our port report, which is nice. Visit the hilltop at the side of town. There's not much wind on the undersea, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an explicitly local fragments of weather. And the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. You stand on the clifftop, looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts suddenly upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What a noise. Must of the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and look towards the mainland. The wind is southerly. Gain some fragments. And we gain some terror. Cool. Uh, we don't need to buy any supplies. Once again, we'll just leave. Right, we need, we need to get back and repair. That's what we need to do. Wait, you lost, you lost, like, you got, like, a really bad horse out of two really good horses? That's annoying. Oh, was that a crab? Something in the water up there. Shit. Let's try and bit him. the crab. Alright. Cool. Gotta be a little bit careful. That new gun is definitely doing a solid. We can get some reasonably cheap repairs, which is fine. It's not gonna be the end of the world. We need to get some more crew as well. Actually, I don't know if we do need to get more crew. I think if we're below half, we do. I think if, we do, if we're below half, we probably do, but...
Yeah, below half. So we, could, we possibly could get some more crew if we wanted to, but... Alright. There we go, we made another loop. What we could do next time is potentially visit, like, further south and have a look down here, then come up. I'm sure we don't run into that fucking shark again. Nasty thing. Alright, we made it back. Collect our messages from the uh, Harbour Master. Somebody wants to sign on. A free evening. Cool. A little gift. Yeah, that guy looks like pretty shifty. We'll go to the tattoo parlor if we want to. Anyway, let's go see the Admiral. So we need to hand in our port reports. So hand in the Hunter's Keep one. Gained fuel. I thought you only got it the first time. Maybe I'm misremembering. Vendor Blights. Salt Lions. Quaker's Haven. Demi Island. Cool. Deliver our Sphinx Stone. There we go. We got another 500 Echoes. Which looks very nice. It's the favors you get less of if you do the same ones. Ah, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's pretty crazy, Fiki. I wonder how you got scammed so badly. Hire on more crew. Let's try it. We lost 30 echoes and we gained 3 crew. Nice. That's actually pretty nice. Your tall tales find a ready audience. Scarred and seasoned men and women tramp aboard and find places to sling hammocks. Lovely. So we need to repair our ship, though, because our ship is terrible. They'll completely repair our hull for 25 and 3 favours. That We're going to have to do that. Bonk! There we are. That was, actually, that was actually a surprisingly efficient way of doing that. There we go. So we can see how much things cost. Like, we've got a, a Theseus. So the next one up would be... Like the for forced for 3,000 echoes, that'll be, which is quite expensive. The cargo ones are quite good if we want to shift cargo around, but for now we'll have to make do. Alright, so let's have a look. What's in London? Uh, we've done that. We don't want to visit the wharf. We did the crew. We've repaired. A new recruit. What's that? Please, I must leave this place. I can work passage. I'm a doctor. I've already got a doctor though, so we don't need we don't need the the haunted doctor. Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engine some good. Ha! <laughs> I'm quite the engineer. Difficult credit, isn't it? But here are my references. So we have a Janal magician, and they are fifty echoes. I mean, that sounds useful. I'll get to work below. Perhaps I should change out the jacket first, of course. You can put your new officers by our officers tab. So we have a chief engineer now, which gives us three uh, minus one hearts, which is not the end of the world. Six veils and three mirrors, which is quite nice. London Underground, because all I want is a fucking train. Cool. Alright, we've got 760, so we need to save ourselves at least uh, 200, don't we? Right, what do we want? Fuel, we've got 10 of. Supplies, we want some supplies. We need at least 20 slots in the cargo to get the... So we'll get 10. There we go, we'll get 11 fuel. I'll, I'll end up using one of those at least, so... We've got 673 remaining. Didn't one of these shops you said sold, uh... I can't see the, uh... Oh, the, ca the cask of mushroom wine. So we could actually do that if it sells for more in um, Vendor Blight. It could be quite interesting. So we could actually make uh, a bit of a bit of a bit of a dollary do by doing that. So we could actually stack up uh, with what 19s worth of that, and then go and sell it. What do you reckon? Should we do? Should we do a merchant run? Two to three echoes each. Oh, it's not huge. Oh, okay. 
I mean, it's not terrible if we're going that way anyway. That's the thing. If we're going that way anyway, there's absolutely no reason not to. Well, depend. Do we want to do another loop with the lion to get even more money? Or should we go somewhere else? I think we should dip south first. I think we should dip south and have a look, I think. In which case, I'll probably get a few more fuels on there. Alright. The Bandersnatch is a forward weapon. We're going to want another... That's the thing. We do want another engine. Because our engine kind of sucks. But I also don't have quite enough money if I do that. So... The Serpentine. That's quite a fancy, uh... That's quite a fancy one, isn't it? Well, we ain't, we ain't buying any of those. We are not wealthy enough. Um, that puts us down to 153. Which is not enough. Another run to the line sounds fruitful. Yeah, I think so. I think we probably do that and then get some more port reports, talk to some more people. What we'll do then, we'll buy some more mushroom wine. We'll buy some mushroom wine then. See if we're, if we're going that way. We can basically fill up a mushroom wine and sell it. Or as much as we can, anyway. There we go. Right, in that case, out we go. My terror's looking a little bit dodgy. We're at 24. I swear there was a way to reduce terror when you're at London. Oh, I completely forgot something. We've got to read the newspaper and stuff. We, we need to do that. Chug, 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 chug. I didn't go back to our home. Okay, read the morning news. Oh? Oh, we gained a supply for that, didn't we? Oh, damn. Uh, the fuel's the cheapest. Sorry, fuel. Cool. Oh, if we rest, we lose some reducial terror here. One for ten. Yeah, let's do that. We have a restful night. There we go. Cool. Now we can go. Terror reduces to 15 London. That could be what I'm remembering. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, let's do the usual then. We're going to go see the sisters. We'll go to Vendor Blight. We got nine crew again because, you know, that wasn't canon that the shark wrecked half of my crew. So that's fine. I think another... I don't know how many of the lions we can do. It's not many. It's like three or four. We're probably almost done with it. It's, it's, oh, is it random? Oh, okay. Chug, 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 chug. Right. To the sisters again. The parlor's empty, but we can tempt them out anyway, so we'll get our port report. There we are. And we shall... News to the sisters. This time, we shall spend time with Phoebe. Each of them once, at least. Oh? What did Phoebe give us? I'll find out in a sec. Ugh. Oh. Again, more fuel, I guess. Goodbye, fuel. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by the water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if a song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the star skylight of the dining room to the full stars glimmering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The untersea shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Gross. Everything changed. Somewhere in there, you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath all of her biscuits. We lost five terror, which is nice. We lost 47 hunger, which is fucking incredible. That's really good. We have a memory of distant shores. At the university and in the tomb colonies, I'll pay well for stars. Oh, nice. 
Very nice. Good stuff. Alright, and now we leave. Don't suplex me. It was relevant. Alright, and off to Vendor Blight where we can sell all this mushrooms. Bit unfortunate that we uh, lost a bit there, but, you know. Am I getting bopped as well? Goddamn. Getting slain. Dust echoes, even a sepia tint to the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. Mm, delicious secrets. Yeah, in some disguise you get like a proper level up and XP and stuff. In this, I don't think you do. You get the secret stuff, which I think you can slowly build your uh, your stats up. Oh, nice! Are you bopping Fiki? Very acceptable. Okay, we're green now. Cool. Green is good. Lots and lots of light means no terror, more or less. A little bit of... I turn this on, I'll get back to green. I keep, keep the uh, terror down a bit this way. Here we are. Back to Vendor Blight. Meet me. Alright, so let's sell let's sell our um our wine then. Eh, I mean if we made we probably made like, I don't know, like thirty odd echoes. It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. We shall get our port report. Which is there. Very nice. And what else should we get? The last tour operator. This will replace 12 suppliers with. Absolutely not. Explore Vendor Blight. Yeah, why not? A raggedy fellow appeared when we explored Vendor Blight. Captain, I'm a good seaman. I'm yours if you have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I'll work hard. It seems likely enough if a little ragged. So we get a new we could get a new crew for free. We could leave him here. We can pay his passage home. Uh, should we take him? Sure. You won't be sorry. I'll work double watches. Ask anyone. They'll tell you I have a good name. Yes, yes. Eventually you get him to stop talking. His enthusiasm is promising, if a little pitiful. Well. That could be a thing. There's, there's a sailor who came begging for your birth. He's done good work, this one, but he's keeping a little shrine to Salt, the nameless god of the horizon in the back of the hold. We can forbid it, or permit it. We'll permit it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. You let him keep his salt circle and his chalked arrow. That night, as you stand on the foredeck, a soft breeze comes from the east, the salt's direction. Tussles your hair and passes. So that matters come clear. So we got like a, we might have a, a cultist on board. But you know, tis one of those things. All right, we got our port report. <laughs> Off we go. Loot. Hey, Sage, thank you very, very much. That is a friggin' lot of lootery. That is lootery most foul, but we like most foul around here. Including hand holding. Not that we'd ever admit to it, obviously. All right, once again, we shall swing by the Salt Lions, Demu Island, Mutton Island. Fall in London, and then we've probably got that extra little bit of money that we can we can play. Oh, there's some bats. Should we try and bin these bats? See how we see how we get on. Savage. Uh, we can reduce the terror, or we can eat. Let's reduce terror. Their eyes are still fierce in death. Zayla, sweep them over with brooms. Careful not to touch them. Little shit. Alright. Alright, to the salt lines we go then. No maxed out terror run. I don't think I've ever done that. Probably end up getting horribly wrecked. Not being a cultist in Fallen would be the weird thing. That's true, that's the less that's the less obvious thing, isn't it? Thank you again, Sage. You're very kind. Alright, we'll sneaky beaky our way down to uh, the salt lands. I want to semi upgrade the ship at least a little bit so we can possibly outrun any threats we run into, among other things. I think would be relatively important. 
dun, 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 dun. I can probably drop this. There we go. And into port. Alrighty. We can still carry Sphinx Stone, nice. We'll get our port report. We will visit the Unmakers, who make us lose 5 terror as well, which is very nice, thank you very much. And we will carry our Sphinx Stone to London. There we are. Same old, same old. Good stuff. Once again, we'll scoot down past the Bonnie Reefs. Stealth works better than running. I take it having the lights off really reduces your uh, ability to get seen. Zero cost spells? Fucking fancy. Go ham. Go ham, Figgy. I suppose it is probably reasonably difficult to see ships in the uh, undersea with how dark it is down here. The crew hates it. Yeah, they get the terror, don't they? I suppose you could have the lights on until you, until you get caught by something. Chugga, 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 chugga. Alright. We're sneaking our way. There's a giant fucking crab over there. We can have tea with the dude again if we want to. Be quite nice. The question mark above the mobs. Oh, does the question mark mean that they've the you're near they know you're nearby but can't see you yet, maybe? Chuck 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 chuck. Nice. We're getting a decent amount of fuel though, which is cool. I think we're sort of because we got a nice loop here, we're gaining almost as much fuel as we're losing, which is kinda handy. Ah shit. Alright, well, we have to wreck these boys. This is your fuck up, chum. Blammo. We'll loot and scuttle And what do we get for our trouble this time? A cask of mushroom wine. Sure, why not? I'll happily take it. And we'll dock. We explored last time, didn't we, I think? We'll get our port report, and then we will have tea with the factor again. Uh... Lude. You sit on the veranda of the factor's house, looking over the jungle... the fungal jungle. An expanse of green and sour gold. The air is thick with hovering spores. The scones are stale, and even the tea has a hint of mildew. The factor is good company, and he shares old stories about Gant Pole, where monsters swarm. About the seduction of the principles of coral, the infestation of Featherhaven. There was a load of uh, bulgous frond carted above your ship. Who waves away your thanks? I've eaten so much of the stuff, I fear I might be transformed entirely into fungus. So we lost some terror, gained some supplies. Very nice. We could buy some fuels off, but we don't need it. We're good. So, off we go. Alright, so we'll go to Martin Island, and then we'll swing back up. I think. Very nice. And then afterwards, I think once we've done this run, I want to swing by that way, if we can, and see what's south. I said I would like a little upgrade, but, you know, we'll, we'll make do. Sunder Sky... I really, really like Sunder Skies. Like, a lot. I like, actually, fair, I like both of these. Sunder Skies has a lot of quality life stuff that, um... Um... That this game... Like, didn't have, I guess. This game, you start out very slow, but with the engines, you get a hell of a lot quicker. In Sunless Skies, you're always quick, but you never get any faster. I mean, the combat in Sunless Skies is infinitely better, right? Like, you've got the drifting and stuff, which feels really nice. Whereas this is more traditional, like, circling and trying to get the fight firing angles and stuff. Which, again, is fine. They're very different games. Different experiences. Alright. Quaker's Haven. Lovely, lovely. We shall chat to the uh, Fiskerman and get our port report. Thank you, gentlemen. We don't need to buy any fuel. We could get drinks to the Cock and Magpie. We haven't done that before. Let's do that for 20. Cider and Cave Dory. 
The trees underneath are scraggly and wretched, scraping a living with parasynthesis. But the apples of Mutton Island are tart and powerful. Perfect for cider. Cider? Cider! This stuff is stronger than it looks. You stretch out in your seat, stare through the leaded window at your safety moored ship, and find yourself whistling. The landlord gives you a friendly grin, goes back to wetting his cleaver. We lost some terror. And we've uh, had a nice little time here, which is kind of nice. Alrighty. Off we get him. Hey, Lenny! Did they make you speed up now into the into the new content? Well, in this game, I have no idea. I've never played the uh, I've never played uh, the DLC stuff here, so I'm not entirely sure. I only ever did uh, regular vanilla. I never picked the um, submariner, the submarine stuff up. Is that crab coming back for us? We have to fucking sort him. I probably should sort him anyway. There we go. Let's zoom out slowly. Nice. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, oh. Yeah, nice. Butcher for supplies? How much hull have I got? Mm, can't tell. Sure. Oh, we lost 25 hunger. The crew will feast. Mmm, delicious. Right out. Off we go then. Right, and back to London. Now we've done a few loops of this, I think we can probably start exploring a bit further out and see some more stuff. Again, I wouldn't mind seeing if we could get a new engine, I think that could be handy. I mean, ultimately the best thing we could ever get is a new ship, but that's going to require a few more and slightly further out sort of runs. But of course, a bigger engine means we can get further out with less fuel, in theory. So, we'll have to see what we can do. Also, more money gives us a bit of a cushion for all the fuel, so we can actually buy fuel and supply is a bit easier. Very nice. Alright. The Revenue Men. Her Enduring Majesty's Custom Service works closely with the, both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today they selected you for an inspection. Don't cheek them. Let them do their worst. You have nothing to hide. We really don't have anything to hide here. They roam your decks like wolves. They tear through your belongings like termites. At last they leave. Yep. We had nothing to do. Return to London. Let's get some messages, shall we? Somebody wants to sign on. And that's it for now. Alright. Well, let's go and get our newspaper. We lost to Terra. Well, this is a bit different. The Echo Bazaar, the enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably uh, dynamited the drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public DC has located and destroyed the nest of ghoul blighter wasps. Well, that's always a plus. Alright, what about the rest of the city? Deliver our Sphinx Stone. More echoes. Very nice. Uh, we don't need any more crew. We don't need any repairs. There's a new recruit, potentially. A first officer. A Carnelian exile. For 50 echoes. That'd be useful. We got a mechanic. We've already got a mechanic, haven't we, at the moment? Let's get our first officer. We need a first officer, don't we? Captain, I know the way. Let me show you. Here I am. A ship, I suppose. It's both always here and never there, because there's always because we there becomes here. Cool. Very nice. So let's get our first officer. Boop. Let's see. We've now got not terrible stats. Mirrors and pages, mirrors and veils, hearts, iron, mirrors and pages. Good stuff. London's fell over. Yeah, it's kind of rude, really, when you think about it. But, you know, London should be a bit more careful then. Right, let's get ourselves this engine. Let's get ourselves this engine, I think. Uh... Lude. Which would be... It's not a huge increase, but it's an increase. There we are. So where's our hold? Bonk! Engine power of a thousand now. Oh, we've got the case of mushroom wine. We'd actually use that for our thing. Let's do that. So, our ambition. Here we go. 
coax the tales of immortality from them. Nidda's walls are basalt, but within them it's as close to a paradise as men can make. A thousand fountains, the streets paved with gem slabs, and the air sweet with honeysuckle and orange groves. How does he know? Has he been there? Let's ask him. One bottle, and he loosens his waistcoat. A second, and he loosens his tongue. No, I've never been to Nidda. Not in the flesh, at least. He leans close. Well, I once tasted red honey and saw the memories of a man who had. I only saw fragments. An army at the walls. A breach. A rallying cry. Liberty. Equality. Eternity. A third bottle. Where could you taste these memories for yourself? Go to the Isle of Cats. Talk to the cat's chiefest claw. Ask about the far-travelled notary. But if you're wise, you'll do like me. Use what you learn to get free drinks. Immortalities for gods and monsters. Ah. We have a clue. The Isle of Cats. You've evolved in 25k inch here. One bit at a time. Very nicely done. I tried to change my almost dead Skullcracker train into a unit of dwarf troll hammer torpedoes. Can you guess the outcome? Did you brutally murder the lot? Dwarf troll hammer torpedoes. I haven't even seen those ones yet, I don't think. Wait, they blew it up? That's pretty tragic. Will you be a god or a monster? A monstrous god is more likely, right? This guy wants to, like, do some shifty with us, doesn't he? Oh, we should visit the tattoo parlor. You're a real Zaylord now, after all. You can go to one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks, but the price at Clathamont's are reasonable, and his daughter's a real artist. What sign would you choose? With a tale of terror, we can... and one echo. Increase your irons by two permanently. That's actually pretty Rude. nice. An unflinching eye gets us more mirrors. This reduces your zero. Remain unblemished. Hey, Sune. How are you doing? You know what? We have a tale of terror. We could we could actually get um some more iron. Let's do it. The dauntless hand. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clathamont hums. The design is complete. Scales mapping your fingers like a gauntlet. Wear it proudly. I shall. Occurrence. Your memoirs, your own sweet skin quality is now the dauntless hand. That's quite cool. Not too bad, thank you, Sunny. Doing alright? We're currently sailing around the Z. Trying not to get brutally murdered by sharks, which almost happened. What's this guy want? He looks pretty shifty. A very fine evening to you, Captain. Why? My what you might call a mentor is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation. On account he's so fond of sea captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a, a dray piled fuel with fuel and supplies. Inquire further. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? Do you make sure to have 15 spaces of uh, hold? Or we'll have to come back later. So we... I guess we could... Uh, this guy looks a bit shifty though, right? Your image got out of Twitch prison. Way, That's really cute! How long did that take for them to approve? That's awesome though. That is friggin' cool. Is that for peeps who subscribe? Oh no, I can see it too! Oh, nice! Fuck it, eh? I like it. Let's inquire further. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river, what is much patronised by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar. A public house, and there's no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope that only you might remember him kindly. I suppose if the opportunity should arise for your to return the kindness, and I do not imagine you refuse your offer. I might refuse, I think. I'm not denying I'm a little saddened, and I think my patron would also share my sadness. But I understand that you knows your business, and as e-captain is a free spirit. I'll explain carefully to my patron you meant no insult by refusing his kind gift. Zale safe. Probably for the best. Alright, what else can we do here? Oh, we visit the office, don't worry, because we need to hand in our port reports, which we have not done yet. We shall tell them about the sisters, which are all doing alright. Vendor Blight, which of course is unchanged. The Salt Lions, giving us some fuel and some echoes. 
Quaker's Haven for five echoes and some fuel. And a Mew Island. Very nice, thank you. Alright. I don't think there's anything else we need to do in London right this second. We've gained our new engine. In our hold, we've got 11 fuel and supplies. I might stack up a bit on fuel and supplies. Actually, probably fuel is fine. I'll save for supplies for now. Alrighty, we've got no terror now. And we I think we can leave safely. We've done the newspaper, haven't we? Yes. Alright, shall we? I've had some removed for sexual content, which is absurd. They said you can't have Gasm style emotes, as once they once told me. And I literally quoted their own their own one that actually comes a part of the site. Oh shit, we do not want to go this way. I quoted the one that is actually on their own site. And the fact that in their rules says you can have it, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Free XP? What's free XP? Sorry. I oh, do you mean handing in the port report, so... So we're gonna go south. So we're a little bit quicker. We're a little bit quicker. So we're gonna go south of Mutton Island. Seeing the bizarre Geshi fragments. Oh, right. I forgot about that, sure. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I mean, I'm obviously I'm a partner, so, you know, I should. Oops. I should probably be reasonably sensible what I say. I do think, however, that Twitch's moderation is uh, uniquely awkward in the fact that it's very random. And I think they need to have some actual rules they either enforce or actual rules they don't. The Cumian Canal is somewhere in this. That's nice. Grab! Let's uh, bin this crab. Hopefully, we do enough damage to him. Two damage. Oh shit. Oh, god damn it. We'll just eat him. There we go. Very dark, don't it? A tooth cracking treasure. A chunk of grit baked into your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. Your crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nonetheless, they will hush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the Z captain, it'll be luck for us. Taylor's pray to stone when they want home, health and healing. She's the kind of god you want on your side. Yeah, let's let's superstitions are good, right? The diamond glints once as it reaches the apex of its arc, down and down, and a wave reaches on to take it. You know something of the three gods of the Z. There we go. Lost some terror. Broke a tooth. The Cumian Canal. What's that noise? I thought it was moved. Some random noises. The canal's interesting. The Albertine Gates. So is there... Is there a dock around here? I forget. Yes, there is. Chuck, 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 chuck. This is the canal that leads to the surface, I think. Which we're not going to go to at the moment. Here, the dark waters run from the surface, from a brighter sea. The canal ascends through locks and gates and shadowed turns to the sunlight of the surface. The sun is dangerous beneath dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptations. Ensure you're well stocked with supplies and fuel, you may never return. You need quite a lot of fuel and supplies to get up there. Listen for surface gossip. The ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to a warmer place. And gather information for a port report. Many ships pass away, perhaps you'll pick up something they missed. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anything, besides London is safe. If any, sorry, if anywhere besides London is safe in all the undersea, it's here. 
The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. List of the surface gossip. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other players scrabble for the coins that spill from her pockets. But you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook. Curious markings. Dates. Times. Code names. Spies work. Ah, interesting. So anything interesting here? I don't think so. Alright. Moving on. We'll leave the Albertine Gates and the trip to the surface. I mean, who needs the surface anyway, right? We don't need it. Let's keep going south and see what we can find. So this is where the actual Untersea connects with the uh, the outside world. I think, isn't it near... It's near Venice, I think, I thought. Or something like that. I think the actual entrance to the vast cavern is. We'll keep sending our bat out to find some stuff. We'll hug, we'll hug the wall here for now. See what we can find. Oh, that looks unpleasant. Some sort of giant whirlpool. The Iron Republic is in distance to the south. Ow, we've reached hell. How fancy. It's like that silly Amogus Dumpy, Amogus Dumpy email that got banned. And the very sexy butt emote stayed. Yeah, I agree, Pumper. Just like, the logic behind that is very strange. It's very, very, very strange. And it doesn't make any logical sense. <laughs> Lewd. Amogus. Not Amogus, that's sus. Thank you, First Sterling. Thank you very much for that. Okay, there's a ship with oars over there. We did finish that game, it's true. The Wolf Amogus. Thank you very much for the nine months. That's extremely kind of you. Appreciate you coming back and resubbing. The support is always very welcome. Thank you. The Iron Republic of Hell. Hell's client state. Be wary. Their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning, lightning skitters across the deck. Leaps to the rails. Curls there like a cat. The city is reflected in a glassy, calm harbour water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedoms from all laws, even those of nature. So what can we do here? We can engage an officer, the Irrepentable Cannoneer. So for 20 Echoes, we could uh, get a Gunnery Officer, which should be quite useful, I think. Which I'm pretty sure we need. We do. That'll be our last officer we need. I think we should do that while we're here. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? Luke. I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on the shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? Welcome aboard. Oh, this is interesting. Room for improvement. Well, there's always room for improvement. Wait, let me make notes. Paper. There we go. For 20 echoes, we got uh, our last officer. For eight iron. Very nice. So, we've now got a full complement. Well, we could probably do with a better crew. A better chef, but, you know. If you see his bondage jar, don't forget to flee. Yeah, these things suck. Okay, what else we got? We need a port report. It won't be entirely straightforward. The streets won't lie straight and the ink freezes whenever you look at it from the ink well. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. That is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you're awash with a nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. We gain some hearts as well. A tale of terror and a distant memory. The Parliament of Flies is open for business. Yeah. The Market of Hungers, with its spires and sigils. Is it a parody of the bazaar? Today, flies fill its arcades. Buzz, buzz. I suppose we'd have a look at the... Uh... Here we go. The Merc Folds. Visit the Shops tab. The House of Pleasures. The flies will caress you with their wings. Hurry up and purchase something. I can buy very cheap fuel, though. Mmm, cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap fuel. Handy. Yeah, it's got, it, like, fuel here, like, really, really cheap, I think, which is nice. Romantic literature. Hmm. We've got some linen here. 
All right, I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else we can do in hell at the moment. All right, so we're down this far now. Obviously, London's back up here. We've actually come fairly far south. We can probably still go a little bit further south and sweep around. We like us a bit of smart, don't we? I mean, who doesn't like a good bit of old-fashioned smart now and again? Oh, that looks unpleasant. I, I'm hoping that's one of Hell's defensive cruisers and not, like, an angry asshole. The Iron Republic isn't Hell, just one of their outposts. That's true. Yeah. Might as well as be close to it, right? Let's see what we can find down here. Vent of the Fog Bank. Our gunners struggle to see the foe. How much iron have we got? We got 67 iron, which is kind of nice. Probably a fairly decent, uh... Decent amount of damage. Oops. Don't like whatever this is over here. We're going to avoid it. The Grand Geo to some distance to the south. We're also near the Dawn Machine, I think. Again, we ran into the Dawn Machine in uh, Sunless Skies. Yep, we're near the Dawn Machine. Sure enough. The sun, the sun, the sun. Here's the Grand Geode. The Sunless Skies is a bit different, yeah. Oh, it's over that way, is it? Well, let's go, let's go dock over that side first, then. Oh. Shit, you're kidding me. I didn't think those things would be aggressive, actually. Need to be a little bit careful about that. Oops. Right, here we are. The Grand Geode. A distant song like a mirage. A naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems, curiously amended. Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly. Everywhere you look, they are singing hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry to the geode's heart. A plaque by the docks has been defaced with orange paint. You still make out the original inscription. Station 5. Compile a port report. Take discreet notes. The Marines are watching. Ask to speak with someone in authority. Hey, Grab. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Well, that was bad. You saw the Commodore, and then... Then there was something bright. You discussed matters of importance. You're... You're certain of it. Teasing clues linger in your memory. Azela asked to stay behind, and you permitted it. Because... Because... It'll all come clear later. Probably. You gained 25 terror. Eek. An extraordinary implication, that's probably quite valuable actually, lost a crew member, and gained memories of a sunstroke. You've spoken to the Commodore of the Grand Geo, but your memory's hairy. The light, it's pretty, you need to be careful about that actually. Should probably uh, not linger here. Alright. There is something down here, but I need to be a little bit careful. Oops. Alright, let's go. I gained a lot of terror there. That's just much unfortunate. We just we just went a bit insane. Should we visit the sun? It's, it should be in the corner. Should we try and visit it? It's a little bit further down, I think. Mm. I'm a bit worried about the uh, the dreadnoughts. That could be a problem. The door machine is some distance. How far is it? Mm. Uh, I'm a bit wary about those dreadnoughts, actually. No, we're not going to visit the door machine right now. Not until I've got a better ship. It's too risky. The cruise tail has reached dangerous points. I have to keep the light on for a little bit. Hmm. 
Alright, let's have a look around. So, we probably want to scoot up this way now. Slowly but surely, and see what else we can find. Whee. Keep out the boy light when fleeing. That's a good shot, actually, yeah. My poor Z-Bat. What the fuck is that? Unpleasant is what that is. Fib. There's a port down that way. Can we sneak past her? Can you identify metal sharp with sparks? Or zonal coronas haunt the ship? This is Dawn's Edge. Port Carnelian. What's always fascinating is the fact that obviously there is continent, like, down this way on the, uh, in the undersea. And, like, wh how far does it stretch and where does it go? Like, I find all this kind of stuff very, really interesting. Like, who was here before and, like, how do they live here? The Rodius Bluff. Alright, here we go. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Exactly. As long as we've got no, no Joes. We've got Josephine now. Alright. Submariner, the fierce lamp. Oh yeah, this is how we get the submarine stuff, but I guess we don't have enough money and stuff for that yet, do we? So, London's first undersea colony sweats. Oh, is this new, this one? Is this why I didn't recognise it? Maybe not, I don't know. London's first undersea colony sweats under the blanket of a southern heat. To the right of the dock, the sapphire mines. To the left, the governor's house stands, prim as an elderwick mansion. Behind lies the fungal jungle, ghostly and white and violet. Hey, it's Murgatroyd's Imperial Tea Shop again! Yay! They import the doilies from London, but the tea is local, blue and smoky. The crumpets are warm. Oh, I want some crumpets. The tablecloth's white. Put some marmite on it. You can almost imagine you were back in Vale Garden, except for the tiger lounging on a divan. It laps tea from an azure bowl and complains about the recent nostalgic trend in poetry. Call of the Heart Cross House. Talk to a tiger in the blue bazaar. Get a room above the bookshop. I want a port report. Can I get a port report? There we go. Call for a room. Oh, we can actually get. Let's talk to the tiger. Sounds more fun. The blue bazaar is a port. Is Port Carnelian's great indoor market. Arch, lofty, plush with patterned carpets where all the vendors display their wares. Most of all, a wash with gossip. The tiger is well informed. A black hold carnet trim it, uh, trim. Trimir, trimir, fucking he knows. Prowled and uh, prowled the coast last night. A rifle shot from shore. Shipments from the sapphire miners slowed. The governor's aide was left-handed on Tuesday and right-handed on Wednesday. Spooky. A trimim, a trimimi, trimim, trimir. Oh fuck. Pan for sapphires. Sure. Perhaps a native ambush. Perhaps ambush is a strong word. There's a tiger sitting on a broad mushroom cap, asking unflattering questions about your nutritional value. You retreat. You get a tale of terror, though. That's quite nice. Alright, we got our port report. Any shops here? We can buy fuel here. It's still reasonably cheap. And the sapphire market. We can buy, well, sapphires. And dark drop coffee beans. And solace fruit. Hmm. Supplies here are reasonably cheap as well. Might buy some my supply quickly. Try finger butthole. All right, I guess we go straight straight north now. Oops, that'd be helpful if I didn't do that. Sorry. Me me. Yeah, terror is getting pretty spicy. I guess it doesn't matter if we if we can reduce it to fifty when we get back to London or whatever. But oh, that's not ideal. Can I sneak between the two of these? Assassin's Creed Odyssey is really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Cassandra in that game is fucking awesome. I never played as Alexios, but Cassandra was a barrel of laughs. Wee.
There's no islands in range. That's fine. We'll scoot our way up. This has been a good little. Uh, this has been a good little loop. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is ginormous. Yeah, ridiculously so. All right. Well, we're coming across Mutton Island soon. I guess we'll do Mutton Island. I guess we'll do this and just loop like backwards if we can. Oh, it's December the 25th. It's spooky Christmas. This this part of the undersea is still pretty normal. Oh, that's upsetting looking. Let's go this way. I still think we need to play us reasonably safe at the moment. A rat barge? We like the rats though. I, if, from, what I remember, from what I recall from last time I played, the islands are all in the same places, roughly, right? In the same quadrant, but they can shuffle around a little bit. So they won't necessarily be in the same place every playthrough, but they'll, um, they'll be in the same sort of rough, rough location. They move in zones, yeah. So, like, if we got we got lucky with the, um, the lions, for example, and I'm pretty sure if... The lion, everything, if the lions are here, Demute Island's always here, I think. It's, it's like in the same, like, line. Stuff like that, I think. Pigmo Island? I love pigs. Let's go. Pig, 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 pig. Pig, 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 pig. How's our fuel doing? Seven. Okay. Sneak over to Saint's Haven. Two houses, both alike in dignity. There's no habitation site, no market, only an old rotten, rotting dock. A stretch of sand thickens into damp black earth, from which sprout stunted palms? Not quite. Tall fungal growths with frond-like caps, as if someone sculpted the idea of a tree from a mushroom. Let's see what awaits us. War? Question mark? As you step on the quay, you hear glamour, shouts and shooting. You can see, off in the distance, smoke rising from beyond the hill and dots of fire flecking the horizon. Two tiny figures stand a little further down the quay, unmoving, as if awaiting your approach. Yes, very like Darkwood. Yes, it's got that sort of same sort of atmosphere to it as well. Less like vagina monsters screaming and running at you, but more horrible eyeballs with teeth underneath the sea. So, you know. A literally interlude. The following is an extract from the popular diary of Z Captain from London to Irem and what we did before we arrived, washed ashore on Mutton Island, and subsequently serialized on the Exper Ex Expurgated Gazette? The author's identity remains unknown. The Tale of Pigmoat Isle, in which a declaration is made, a choice is presented, war is declared, a most singular treasure sought by all, and a new empire is founded with tooth and claw. Chapter 1 The Delegation. The figures were rodents. To my left was a Rattus Faber, wearing goggles, a blacksmith's apron, and an assortment of tools. To my right, an unusually large guinea pig, wearing a helmet and breastplate, reminiscent of nothing as much as high middle ages. The rat stepped forward first and bowed. Welcome, Captain, to Rat Star Island. I am Edgar, second chief engineer of the third rat brigade. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The rat stepped back at precisely the same moment. With what appeared to be the ease of a long habit, the guinea pig scuttled forward and made a declaratory, declamatory chirp. Welcome, Captain, to the Isle of Cavia. I am Lady Augusta Hello. Devereux Swinch of the Blackwater Swinches. Central to our King Gracenor, first of his name. I invite you to avail yourself of food and fuel at our expense. The only cost to you is a choice. The two stood at attention, looking at me expectantly. I must choose carefully. I spoke to the chief engineer. His eyes had a weave called glint to them, and he wore his scars and jewels. I spoke to the sensual. How did an armoured guinea pig manage to look regal? Mm, I suppose to speak, speak both of them. I asked the chief engineer to elaborate. He looked at me for a long, measured moment before speaking gruffly. We came to this island to make a home for ourselves away from London. It's cats and snuffers, it's ratskin suits. We came to live as citizens of our own republic. We came with our tools, our teeth, and clever hands. 
We made a beautiful city at the light of the rat star that shone brightly on blue on Mount Ararat. <laughs> Ararat. The chief engineer nodded towards the distant hill. One day we braved the depths of chicken woods. From the top of the Mount Ararat we plucked the rat star to be our light, our beacon. But the pigs of Kevi saw the light and they lusted for it. They sent armies to rule us and steal our star. We will not permit them to take what is ours. We will resist them to our last breath. Will you join us in defeating them? Allah, Allah. Rat, rat, rat. Engineer of Clan Sky. Oh no, it's Ikit. The book is bleeding, which is probably fine. Let's speak to Essential. Essential cleared her throat with a, de a delicacy to rival the Duchess's own before speaking. Grace saw the Kling, our lord and sovereign, full seven months of sojourned on the sea, conquered this land and won the southern main. Now no fortress sh against him shall remain. No city walls be left for him to gain. Save the rats that squeak behind the mountain. Unlikely was the lamb of our deliverance. Assured should be our glories in their fall, when our lady's eye restored to our hall. Central composed herself and then added, We saw truth and beauty by the lights of our lady's eye on Mount Caveat. But the rats, with their guns and their chatter and their peasants' politics, stole it from us. We will subjugate them and take it back. They are a rabble, and we will rule them with the steel-shod velvet of our paws. Will you join us? I have to make our choice. Are we siding with the rats, or do we side with the guinea pigs? Or can we attempt to broker peace? I mean, maybe we can help them get along, I don't know. I mean, the rats are cool, right? I mean, I, I mean we all like Ikit. Ikit's a good man. Ikit's, uh, Ikit's a fine lad. And guinea pigs are cool and all, but, you know. The rats in this are actually pretty cool, though. Like the rat, the rats generally are pretty awesome. Like in 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 Sunless Seas and Skies. Good man's a bit of stress. What Icky Icky looks after his peeps. He gives them guns and stuff. What do you reckon, folks? I reckon rats is probably a fun one. I reckon rats could be pretty good. We could try and broke a piece, but that it may work. It may not. That could be an option to us, rather than take sides. But they did ask us to take a side. Let's try peace. Alright, let's try it. Surely their commonalities were more numerous than their differences. Perhaps I can help them get along. <laughs> My word held them reach an agreement. The chief engineer in Central shared a look and then regarded me with scornful amusement. Yes, smirked the chief engineer. You're clearly much cleverer than us. Oh, much, murmured the Central. You clearly know us much better than we know ourselves. Apparently idealism would not help here. So that's, uh, that's, uh, not going to happen. So we're going to, we're going to go for the rats? Ratus Maximus? I mean, I guess there's no option to not choose a side, so let's go for maximum rattery, I guess. A friend to the rats. I sent a finger to the chief engineer, who shook it grimly. The central hissed and chattered the teeth in disgust, but kept a distance. You've made the right choice, said the chief engineer. Let me show you around. An occurrence, your memoirs, a rat in the making. You chose to help the rats. We gained some fuel and supplies. Oh, nice. The chief engineer led me to the northern side of the island, skirting the chicken woods. We passed through a number of what can only be teamed checkpoints. A fierce eye rats sold, shouldered their derringers and saluted the chief engineer. Soon we came upon a small colony, smaller than some of the infestation I had encountered in London. Perhaps only fifty ratus faber all around, working diligently to fortify their side of the island. The first thing I noticed was a brilliant light beaming out of the stump in the chicken wood, about six feet high. It bathed the whole settlement in a clean blue glow and was almost too bright to look at. By the light, I could see several raised mounds of earth, suggesting shallow tunnels. An efficient fishing operation was set up by the water, an albino rat mending nets while we others stabbed sharpened sticks into the waves. Further inland was a barracks, where a sergeant barked drills at a small squadron of fighters. My arrival drew attention, and several rats paused their work to look at me curiously. Welcome to Marinia, said the chief engineer, voice warm with pride. It's not much to look at now, once we've rousted the cavies. Sorry, once we've r rousted the cavies? Cavies? Take a stroll around while I summon the war council. 
With that, he vanished into one of the mounds. We can visit the barracks. We can look at the rat star. Get down to the beach. Let's go to the barracks. The real sergeant appeared to be sizing me up. Were the few rats around her all, really all they had to launch an attack? I approached the drill sergeant and went so far as to salute her, which earned me a grunt of satisfaction. The sergeant dismissed her troops and offered me a bit of chicken wood jerky to gnaw on. There are more of us below ground, she explained, but not enough. The KVs are bigger and there's more of them. We're better with weapons, but haven't got the stuff to make them. And most of us came as stowaways and bringing nothing but food, tools and the fur on our backs. We can fish and nibble the chicken woods. We can't make guns out of trees. Lude. The KVs came with their own steamer and they seem to have endless supplies. We raid them, sometimes. There's so few of us, we can never really hold on to territory for that long. But that's to be of no consequence. Oh, excuse me. All we want is to be left in peace to build our little republic and the rat star, she added thoughtfully. Of course, we want that too. Let's visit the rat star. An excitable looking rat was peering at it through smoky goggles, twitching her whiskers and making notes on what appeared to be real paper. It's not a star, of course, not really. We try explaining that to the others. The chief engineer doesn't want me working too hard to convince them. She says, "This says better for morale." But look at it. Look. She offered me her goggles. I managed to work them with just enough of one of my eye to see what she was studying. It was Skintelac, but unlike any I've ever seen before, blue as sapphire, but more brilliant. Something about the clarity of its colour was tremendously soothing. The chief science officer tittered with pleasure as I handed the goggles back. Those of us who've been to the cavey side of the island and lived to tell the tale say there's plenty of glow there, plenty of bright in the water all around, but nothing like this. We took this from the island centre, Mount Ararat, and it's own and only it's not a mountain, of course, any more than this is a star. It's hollow, there's sweet water inside, and coral crawling up the walls of it, but nothing that glows save this. It's ours now, and no one can take us from it. And lastly, let's have a look at the beach. An albino rat smiled at me from his mending work, looking dainty and a little shy. Chicken wood floats, especially when it's dried and sealed. We're able to paddle out a bit and cast our nets. We come up with all sorts of things. Blind fish, crabs, sometimes chunks of broken tentacle. But the fishing would never be good without the rat star, he beamed. I think it only draws good fish and keeps the scary ones at bay. I know the chief science officer doesn't believe it, but I do. That light is our livelihood. We've been summoned to the war council. The chief engineer emerged from underground with a motley assortment of other rats. He introduced them as weapons experts, strategists, or strategists, and field commanders. So you can help us beat the caveys, he said, the hard edge of his voice. But how exactly? I can offer strategic assistance. That's with veils. We engineered a distraction that the LBs could use to plunder the cavey ships. I determined to take the lead. I had a ship. I had cannons. We'd steer her on the southern side of the island and have at those uppity animals. Let's do that. A palpable hit. The rats gave me what information they possessed about the KV settlement, but I still had to improvise a great deal on the spot. A perfect storm of speed, stealth, and strength in arms favoured us. Our cannons letting fire a volley- We're shooting fucking guinea pigs, honestly. <laughs> a volley of shot onto the beach before the KVs could scramble onto their grounded ship to man its guns. Screams and squeals filled the air, and the enemy fled. A damp hush settled over my crew as the smoke cleared to reveal the torn, bloodied bodies of guinea pigs littering the shore. A grim business, but I'd honoured my commitment to the rats. Found a wealth of skintelac ringing the beach. To the harvest of spoils. Armoured guinea pigs. Yeah, with like medieval armour. Hail Marinia. Yay. You see an iron challenge. An occurrence. Pigmoat Isle might. Quality is now five. Adequate. Your Pigmoat Isle civilization quality is now four. Troubled. An occurrence occurred. Your Pigmoat spirit quality is three. Conflicted. I have three skintelac. Coral that glimmers as if moonlit. <laughs> Lude. It makes marvellous jewellery, or terribly sent tea. Hey, Hero Zone, thank you very much for the 59, dude. Hope things are all well with the old shoppy. Thank you kindly, dude. Thank you very much for that. I have a bale of parabola linen. But we can get one of the rats with us. The house of cave has fallen. Marinia was triumphant. All that remained were the celebrations and the, continued of, and the continuation of our voyage. Oh, how we feasted long into the night. And then... Shall I get, shall I get a rat? Should we get a rat crew? Rat crew, right? Getting a bunch of re stuff rearranged to be more efficient and look better. Um, it's busy in a good way. Thank you for remembering and asking. No, not at all. I'm glad it's going well. 
which gets a rat. The chief engineer couldn't leave his colony, but he relayed my request to his people. The albino rat saw mending nets shyly step forward. I'm good at fixing things, he said earnestly. I'd like to see more of the world. I waited for him to gather up his things, uh, some effects, and say goodbye to his family for accompanying me. I've lost one civilization, it's now struggling. Oh, is that because we took one of them away? Uh, the wide dark Z beckons. We need now fill and our business was concluded. It's time to continue our voyage and see what awaited us. There, you finish your diary entry. The final dregs of the rats, surprisingly good wine. They line up and salute you as you leave the victory banquet. Let's go and use your ship through the foundation of their new republic. Your hunger quality is gone. A new nation has been founded. That's all for now. And we've got a port report, Pigmoat Isle. Hail Marina. I guess another lot we can do at the moment. The Cavi Ghetto. We can get repairs if we want to. They got shops now? Oh yeah! Oh nice, two veil mascot. The Albino Tinkerer. Oh, I like that map. This one's got mirrors and pages to the Blemigan, but it's nice to have her. Nice to have them. Well, I'm just going to dock and redock that saves it then. And we shall stop here for today, I think. There we go. Very good. We can't talk to them. No. I want to talk to the ratty. Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed that. A bit of Sunless Seas. Do enjoy my spooky story times. It's been good fun. Thank you very much everyone for being here. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely stream. Been a nice chill out for you all. And I shall see you all next time. We will do, I don't know, might do Sherlock tomorrow? We'll have to see. We'll have to see how, we, well, how it's going on. Thanks all. Lovely to see you all here. Thank you very much. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. Good night.